Bom dia. Morning feliz. Good morning. You're watching clouds in the kitchen. We are actually going to do something amazing for you today. I'm gonna show you my friend. Seu nome é qual? <laughs> Ele tá de mau humor. Oi. Oi. Tio. <laughs> Dá uma raladinha aqui pro povo lá de fora ver como é que o senhor faz. Por favor. I'm begging him to grate some coconut for you guys to see how we sell it in Brazil. <laughs> I'm actually trying to... Oh. Tive do nada, ele é um mal humorado que eu já conheço ele há 10 anos, é um inferno. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you something called tapioca. Okay, vamos lá pra tapioca, querido. Okay, we could be here for ages. Three reais, just over a dollar and five reais. Okay, let's have a look at him making tapioca. This is the cassava flour. He basically puts a little pan on a little burner. We'll get this going in a minute. Hopefully we'll all be okay. Segura uma onda só um pouquinho. Acabou o gás? Vai me matar, né? Magic. Cheiro de gás, it smells of gas. And you put the tapioca, you can find this in any supermarket here or anywhere else. Basically you spread it like this and the tapioca flour itself is gonna settle and become like a pastry. Some people substitute this for instead of bread. For breakfast is amazing. I'm gonna ask for a sweet one that has coconut and uh, condensed milk. Um, meanwhile, whilst he's selling coconut to everybody in the market, I'm gonna give you a spin and show you his stove. So here we have the tapioca flour, which you can also get in your supermarket. We have here something called cocada, which is coconut with sugar, and sometimes I make my own with coconut milk. A little bit. Gosta? Muito. É. Vou levar três. Ah, é? A cocada dele é boa? Muito boa. This gentleman is going to buy three of his cocadas. So some people make it with condensed milk. I put a little coconut milk as well, just to give it some creaminess to mine. And then we have this coconut like this. And sometimes you also... Oh, this is the mature coconut. Sometimes you also buy the coconut in chunks. Tapioca is going over here. Here we have the pirate. I'm not going to show his face. Here we have the pirate DVDs. Here's the tapioca. He's just turned it around. Over here, we have something amazing called pastel. He doesn't talk to me. <laughs> ok, tapioca lindíssima. What now? O que, que a gente põe agora? Coco. Fresh coconut. This is amazing. And now. <laughs> My inner child is jumping in joy. É isso? E o sorriso hoje rola ou tem que pagar mais? Sorriso? É, tá feio. Eu não tô sorrindo hoje. Nem semana passada, nem o ano passado. Não, vou comer, vou comer, vou comer. É que eu tô, eu sou assim mesmo. He says he's just like that and he doesn't smile. He actually doesn't. I've been buying coconut from him for about 10 years. I think I saw him making something sweet. Almost, Robby. Not paguei, né? I opened this. Okay, what do you get from this? It's something like this. Sorry. Camera. Action. Okay. This is what you get. Oh my god. Mm. It's sweet. It's slightly crunchy. And you get the freshness of the coconut. It's something. Mm. Wow. Hang on. It's something that when you come to Brazil for the World Cup, if you're brave enough, you should try it. 
is only sold in the street markets made like this. Uh, but it's well worth it. Some people make it salty with some cheese as well, but mine I prefer with the coconut. Have a good look. I'm gonna vou deixar aqui mostro minuto. I'm gonna show you something else called pastel that we have in Brazil. If you ever come around, you've got to try this. It's in the street markets generally. Basically, it's a take on the gyoza from the Japanese and the um, gyoza from the Chinese. They, they make this pastry and then they fill it with cheese, with meat, or some things like that. I'm gonna try and show this lady's pastel for you to see what it looks like inside. Mostra, posso mostrar seu pastel? Aqui, só um pouquinho. Okay, a bela de carne. Hers is a meat one, and she's put some lovely onions so. on. Thank you, obrigada. Okay, so here is what happens. People come to the streets also to eat. It's nothing like Thailand, but we still, we still have some street food, and it's very delicious. Um, I think you should come and have a look and try for yourself. I'm gonna go and dig in on my tapioca and be a happy little bunny in this rainy, rainy day in São Paulo, signing off clouds in the kitchen.